Geez, they revved up the boys down on ground level. There's some passion in their eyes. This is going to be a beauty. And there are some fantastic individual stories emanating from both teams. Inside that Maori dressing room, Isaac Luke. And this is what Rugby League can do. He was so desperate to find a club at the end of last season that he sent a tweet asking for an opportunity. And the Dragons answered that call. And they signed him as the backup to Cameron McInnes. And you fast forward to today, McInnes has gone with a knee injury and Isaac Luke is now the number one, number nine for St George Illawarra. He's off the bench tonight for this Maori outfit, but if he was able to play well here, it, it sets him and uh, his Dragons teammates up for what will hopefully be for them and everyone who supports teams across the competition, a positive campaign. The crowd is good here at Seabus Super Stadium. We were last here for an All-Stars match in 2015, but this venue hosted the first three All-Stars games. It was the brainchild of Preston Campbell who's got his didgeridoo at the ready. delivering tonight's match ball. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for a moment's silence as we pay our respect to members of the stolen generation and remember loved ones that are no longer with us. comes the Maori All-Stars. This will be passionate and full of emotion and a nice way to start. There's Josh Curran, jumper 17 for the Indigenous side. Only played four NRL matches and there's a couple of players here are lining up that are yet to experience the NRL. Jermaine Tarnoa Brown in the front row tonight for this Indigenous team up against Jesse Bromwich and Adam Blair. What a task. Oh, 
Well, that's really something, isn't it? And to see the emotion on Latrell Mitchell's face, it sums up what not just this match, but the whole week means to he and his teammates. And that famous image of Greg Inglis from a few years ago where he emerged from the centre of that huddle and, and rose above his teammates. Well, it's Latrell tonight, and it's so appropriate that it is because when you think about the trajectory his career is taking, it's very much reminiscent of the path trodden by Inglis. He's now a Rabbitoh, and he's now a fullback, which is a different challenge for him. One of the great centres of the last few years, Latrell Mitchell and Paul Vorton, as I welcome you, he's wearing the number one tonight. Yeah, and he wants to play in the fullback role, and uh, he'll, he'll get that opportunity. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that. As I would imagine everyone did at home, I saw a healthy respect for, for both cultures out there. And that's uh, very important. And the 
boys loved it. They loved the dancing. Who won the dancing contest, Joey? They were both pretty good. Intimidating, wasn't it? Yeah, it's uh, sensational. Old school. And JT in the background here was the Preston Campbell medal winner as man of the match in the very first Indigenous All-Stars fixture that was played back in 2010. And it's going to be special tonight. The Trail Mitchell playing fullback. What do you think of that, Andrew? You've said you're not entirely convinced about the move. Uh, well, I think he's the best strike centre in the game. And I think it may it may dull his effectiveness with the extra, extra running and you know, the being under pressure and under fatigue. But tonight we've got one of the greatest, the greatest fullback of all time, Billy Slater. He's going to be watching him, Billy, and uh, we'll, we'll get his advice and areas he, he's going well in, but uh, might be something special tonight. Why don't we say hello to Billy? He's been down there. You're up close and personal with the pre-game ceremony. Billy, it's quite moving, isn't it? Absolutely amazing down here on ground level, boys. I, I hope the emotion and the passion come through the television because it was spine tingling down here on ground level. And just on Luttrell, I can't wait to see him work off the football. We all know what he can do with the football in hand. And he'll, he'll do that tonight, but it's his work off the footy that'll determine whether he becomes a good football, fullback or not. Yes, and with all the talk of Latrell playing fullback, at the other end of the field, we've got one of the absolute standouts, one of the great strike players, Kalen Ponga, who is mic'd up tonight. And when I say mic'd up, he's mic'd up in general play. So we'll be able to hear a montage of his contribution as it happened when we... Uh, and bring in our half-time break. You have a look at the strike power in this Indigenous backline. Mitchell, Thanks, Ferguson, Roberts, Ramian, Adokar against a ferocious Maori All-Stars pack. We're underway on the Gold Coast and for season 2020. And the first run for the first gamer, Jermaine Tornoa Brown. And it's been followed up now with a run by Blake Ferguson through the middle of the field. Tackle 25 out from the halfway. And played by the skipper, Joel Thompson, his work in the Indigenous community is revered by so many. He's a wonderful ambassador for his culture. And now the Clive Churchill medalist, Jack White, with the first kick, which is... Neatly tapped back by Dallin, by Teddy Zalesniak and Kalen Ponga. Met in defence by Wade Graham, the most experienced player on the park tonight in terms of NRL Cups, 226 appearances. And now Dallin, by Teddy Zalesniak of the Bulldogs, playing it to Brandon Smith. Starts in the number nine as he has been doing for the New Zealand Test Team, is the Medallion Interchange Player of the Year from last year. The ball of energy from the Melbourne Storm. The way to Nikurima, and a little tap on attempt at least. It doesn't go to hand, it's over the sideline. So the first little battle won by the Indigenous side. Yeah, there's an opportunity there, but keep your eyes on Blake Ferguson. He sees the threat. Watch Blake Ferguson, top of the screen. He'll rush in on Hassan Masters and make him play early. Just puts pressure there on Hassan Masters. Great defensive read there from Blake Ferguson. And here we go. This is the new rule, the scrum feed rule. They've uh, taken it in the middle of the field. Yep, there's three options this season for the team feeding the scrum. 10 metres in, 20 metres in or in the centre of the field. Have a look at them lined up. Latrell Mitchell and Jack White are behind the ruck. Look at them behind the scrum there. Look at them swing late. And Whiten, first pass off the scrum, attacks and goes inside the 40. Tackled by Britton McCora of the Cronulla Sharks. And here's Jesse Ramian, who will be back in a Sharks jumper for this season. 30 out now. We're playing in quarters tonight as well. So it'll be full throttle right throughout. Nathan Peaks on his home ground. Within 14 of the line, it goes to Tyrone Roberts. A little juggle there from David Fafita. The Queensland Origin representative, still 19 years of age, can you believe it? He's 10 metres out. It's Roberts. And now it's the young gun, Jaden Tarnor Brown. 
almost centre field. They're going to swing it to the right now. A little kick by Roberts. It's going to be way too deep in the end. Watch that other ball. Go long, They look sharp, though, Andrew, don't they? It was a bit heavy, that kick. That, that they were very impressive from the scrum. Crowded like some space. Play. Yeah, I'll break good. that down. Let's break a play. That was really smart play by the Indigenous boys. Played by Jesse Bromwich to his Melbourne teammate Brandon Smith. And doing the hard yards as he loves to do. Dallin with Tenny Zalesniak. Co captain of this Maori outfit tonight. His grandfather, his great grandfather actually, Steve Waiteni, was the first Maori man to captain the New Zealand Rugby League team. So there is a real cultural link going back many generations for he and his brother Malachi who are playing tonight. Now Harawira Naira. They don't hold him and he's allowed to play on. He gives it to Duran Hughes. He'll accelerate from a standing start and the ball for Dallin to dive over. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, now we might, have we got a captain's challenge? No, we don't. We've got a try. It all came from Corey Harawira Naira, who wasn't held and was able to offload. He made a strong run. Can offloading the ball. Yeah. How hard is it to defend that? Canterbury back row. Back on the inside. Makes a, a searching run. Excellent. Look at this. Leg speed. Takes three of them. And then he's not held gets up and simply passes it from there. Look, what's the Indigenous defence? They come up on the outside, created the opening, and that's a great finish. Good Jerome Husey, acceleration. Harvey Norman replay. Gets in the open, and Dallin knows where the sideline is, uses the corner post to his advantage. Great skill. Sam Thiday is down there with the try scorer. I am down here with the try scorer. Dallin, uh, now scoring that try. You practice that in the, at home in the backyard? I've been practicing since I was five. But no, yeah, it's just... Sorry, I'm catching my breath. It's already fast out there, so to get a try now is pretty good. We're just going to keep going with it. All right, enjoy. It's great to watch you. Back up to you guys. Here's Callan Ponga from right against the touchline. He's kicked it. Good start. 6-0, and now the All-Stars. It's 10 seconds to trail. It's time you run here, boys. Scoop behind it, Joe. They were beaten 34 to 14 last year, but the Maori All Stars lead 6 0 in the All Star game 2020. Dallin by Teddy Zalesnia. Off the back of a Jerome Hughes effort. He's an underrated footballer, Jerome Hughes. He's the reigning. Melbourne Storm back of the year. And you consider the calibre of players in that Melbourne back line, that's some award to win. Started his NRL career on the Gold Coast actually many years ago. He's Brandon Smith. Tackled by Josh Kerr of the Dragons. They're up beyond the 40 and out of the halfway with Adam Blair, a New Zealand Test veteran. Hughes with a towering kick, which will come down on the 20 metre line. <laughs> Addo Carr has been muscled in a big way. Ooh. What about this hit? Oh, it's perfect timing, wasn't it? Just drove straight through him over well, the top. It's not an routine exhibition game. No way. Well, fair dick. Now James Roberts, it's a trimmed down version this year. Let's hope he can get that spark back of the Jets. And now David for feet up. It's frightening this young man. Still only 19. Yep. Recommitted to the Broncos as well. They had a stack of clubs after him, as you'd expect. 
Tyrone Roberts. Kicks for Ponga. With that vertical leap. And he secures the kick safely. And there's his own masters. Formerly of the West Tigers, now the Cowboys. So the captain's challenge makes its debut tonight. It'll be interesting to see how the teams this evening use that strategically. It's an unlimited interchange game as well. And we've got seven players on each bench. So that combined with the fact we're playing in quarters means we'll get a... A frantic pace from start to finish, and we're seeing it now. Here's Kenny Bromwich. Turns Blake Ferguson on the outside. They've opened up again. Oh, what about that for a try? Saving play by Addo Carr. From the left wing. Great effort, but Kenny Bromwich actually had Ponga back on the inside unmarked. He couldn't find him. He went to the outside, so that put it down as a bomb try. Once again, Corey Harawira Naira set that up. Look at that for a run and offload. They go through the hands. Beautiful skill. They're Ponger on the inside. The right. And then Addo Carr from the left wing, just in case. What a play. What a player. He's coming for a breather, actually. It's, a, it's warm out there, and this is the first game of the year, so there'll be some burning lungs. As Chris Smith, who was a veteran of this Indigenous outfit, finds some territory. He's going backwards now. And he's up to the halfway, and he's running with great intent. Tyrone Roberts. And for feeder, he's not the man for a kick. Nathan Peets is adept in that area, and he stabs one over the top that takes a break over the touch line. They're all screaming. Aren't Put they? it out. <laughs> you can train for four months, you can rip in at training, but you, you cannot make the intensity of what you do on the field. That extra 10, 15 percent, and the hits. This has been played at frantic pace. Look at that hit. Maybe that's why Josh Adokar has come for a breather. Would have been good to see how far he would have travelled when he snuffed that try out. He would have travelled 120 metres just to get over, sprinting back just in case. And that's play. a great sign of how much this game means to them. Yeah. Well, Adam Blair has said pretty openly this week, actually, that his Maori side was overawed by the occasion last year when the match was played at Amy Park. They were really overwhelmed by the emotion around it, and they probably didn't produce their best performance, as the scoreline suggested. But he says they're going to be physical tonight, and they won't be intimidated by their opposition. The scoreboard's tilted in their favour at the moment as Smith... Brandon, that is. Scampers up and plays it quickly on the halfway line so Ponga can run. And he can link up here with Ramian. He steps back in field, ran out of room on that left-hand side of the ground. Here's five and last. Nikarima away for Hughes. And he kicks to the left wing, which is being manned by Alex Johnston. Ferguson. What a season he had last year. He's first for Parramatta and for New South Wales in games two and three. Such an important cog in that Parramatta machine, which is well up there in Premiership reckoning. Latrell hasn't seen the ball so far tonight. Tyrone Peachy into the game. And the 16 is Zach Sadler from the Manly Seagulls, yet to play an NRL match. A high kick by Tyrone Roberts. And Dallin, he's been a star in the first 12 minutes. Tackled centre of the 30 metre line. And Bryson Goodwin, 34 years of age, back in the NRL with South Sydney. And Playing his first match tonight of the season. Go for the Warrington Wolves last year. A couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Billy, down to you. Yeah, just on the conditions down here, there's not a whole heap of breeze around. It's about 25 degrees. It's, it's perfect weather for rugby league. The surface is in pristine condition. It, it opens it up to be an entertaining brand of footy later in the game when these boys get tired. 
Shouldn't take too long, Billy. The way things are being played at the moment, there's Nakora. Runs into the defence. Isaac Luke. Away for Hughes. He's done all the kicking tonight. He can't. Knocked that kick past Alex Johnston. He's got great evasion. And we know how quick he is if he can find some open air. Nick Arima makes the tackle. Now, Luttrell. He wanted the footy, and he's got to do some hard yards there to get his hands on it. Now, Connor Watson, another one of the speedsters. For White this time. Dummy to Graham. And he's tackled on the Maori All-Stars 40-metre line. Here goes Sadler. Big contact again. Big occasion for this young man. He's playing with some absolute superstars of the modern game and yet to taste the NRL. Well taken by Dallin at the back. He's turning. He's such a solid footballer, isn't he? Rarely makes a mistake. And Ponga. Tackled by Tyrone Peachy. And they're really surging defensively here. The indigenous outfit. Nathan Peach that time with a strong tackle. And there's a good run by Jesse Bromwich. Straight over the top. And an early kick here. Here's Luttrell on kick reception. And this is where you would think, given his extraordinary physical prowess, he'll prove a danger on the carry back up. Oh. Not sure that was part of the script. Here's Ferguson. Not a bad way to start your, your sets. Luttrell and then Blake Ferguson. Get some rolling. And then Peachy to ask some questions. Three tackles gone, and within 34 of the Mountie All-Stars line. And the Indigenous outfit registers some points here. Played here by Josh Curran. Sent from Pete, so away to Roberts. A right foot step evades Kevin Proctor momentarily, and he's put down 20 short of the line. Ball from Kerr, flank pass by Graham. And Dallin with Tenny Zalesniak's got it back. Was there an arm on it there from Dallin? And hold back. the ball. Yeah. I'll come through, Goffey. Yeah, it's his pet play, Wade Graham. Likes to go to the line on that left-hand side and throw the face pass. Play the Marys have got the better of it. To me, Andrew, they're, they're throwing the ball around a lot better. They've Hold. got a little bit more intent, whereas the Indigenous uh, just tending to play around the ruck a little bit too much. A reminder, we're playing four quarters in this match. I think the players would be grateful for that. So the first interval, just over four minutes away now, here at Seabus Super Stadium on the Gold Coast. Oh, another big tackle. Nicarima's coughed it up. Six to go. Six to go. Yeah, that was Tyrone Roberts. I've got knock on first, Maoris. Changed it. Knock on Maoris okay. first. But Jerome Hughes will go right in, into the line here. I called knock on against you. And watch the top of the screen, the halfback. Tyrone Roberts will see this. And he'll come flying out of the line and put pressure on Nick Arima. Really strong, aggressive defence there from the Indigenous halfback. Challenge. <laughs> it goes backwards. 10 seconds. Yes, you've got to make that call within 10. And the reason for that call is because they don't want them looking at the big screen and realising that they should be challenging the decision. Should point out to you, you get one incorrect challenge per game. So, Mate, I've got a headache already. Yes. <laughs> if you were captain, Andrew, you'd have to be making the call yourself. Here he goes. Ramian. Tremendous oh. run, they can't stop him. Can someone yeah. make a tackle? Big barrel chest on him. Yeah, they still have stopped him. <laughs> He's dragging them with him. Oh, the crowd love that. Well, it's, it'll get his team going too. Now Roberts. And a ball from Mitchell. One bounce. Ferguson, he'll wind up. And he stopped well by the veteran, Bryson Goodwin. 
now Watson scurries out of dummy half he's muscled by Isan Masters tackle four they've got two more shots remaining on this set against the Maori line great ball it's Curran the beneficiary who gets the indigenous all-stars on the board but Josh Kerr what a ball yeah, excellent play. I watched a little bit of the touch footy comp last weekend, they call the nines, and Josh Kerr was really impressive, actually. And uh, he's carried that on into this game, and this is fantastic. What's this? Forces the hole and a great offload. If we can see that angle again, you watch Adam Blair on the Harvey Norman replay. He just gets up a little bit ahead of the defensive line which opens up the gap. Just watch Adam Blair in the Jersey 10. See, he's up in front of Jersey 14, which just opens up that corridor. And Josh Kerr, big and strong and lanky, just gets in between. And then Josh Curran, beautiful support play. Great stuff to the Indigenous team to get on the board. Hello, JT. Just going to try on the big stage. How good? Yeah, mate. It's, I was just a flick. I was just pushing through and good. Joshy Kerr got a good offload away, but yeah, the crowd's amazing, man. Fucking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can hear it. On, you can hear it on the field. But yeah, it's good. <laughs> no worries. Enjoy the rest of the match, mate. <laughs> Up to you, Tomo. Thanks, Jonathan. We can beep that out later. Yeah. <laughs> From in front, Tyrone Roberts, man of the match last year. And he's about to lock this contest together. It's been entertaining, and it's six each. Six points apiece. Great pass, Josh Kerr and Josh Curran, who is now with the Warriors, runs it back after scoring the try. He was at the Roosters. He's he's, he's, he's keep your eye on Josh. He's got incredible skills for a forward, for a big man. Offload in the line or before the line. He's a really good ball player. Notice to boot for the Roosters last season down in Melbourne. The same night Sam Verrills played his first match. Only got uh, four appearances for the Roosters, but as you say, Andrew, obviously a talent. Oh, no, they've popped it up. Now we've got quarter time only, one play away here. And the Maori outfit are going to attack from a Smith kick. Johnson was awake to it and gets back to... Field it, look out, Roberts, he's going to touch forward, football it back over the top. <laughs> he's David for feet up, ball's come out, and now he can go for a breather after 20 minutes. This is good stuff, and six points each. All right, well, we can fix that up this quarter, that's something we need to focus on as a group this quarter. All right, work together defensively to Maldi. Okay, that's our thing. Okay, and in our attack, let's make sure we get our possession up this quarter. Nice and patient. We're all good? All good. All right. Great Stay access inside the Maldi huddle at quarter time. And we resume now the next 20 minutes leading into the main break will be hopefully as absorbing as the first 20. Fatty, how many halftime speeches do you remember? <laughs> Not many. No. I remember a pretty famous one that Mal Meninga made. Watching at home. That was before the game. Of course. It was a good one regardless. 40 minutes, have a rest, <laughs> and another 40 minutes. That's what he said with a couple of extras. <laughs> That's right. Here's Graham now. Rewind 12 months and Wade Graham 
Barnes was still in rehab from a knee reconstruction. And a barnstorming season when he came back on the field. Now Ferguson picks up a loose ball and he's put down just over the halfway. Here's Roberts now. A testing kick for Ponga. Thought about passing, but he'll go to the defensive line and be put down by Fafita. Newcastle's Connor Watson. And Dallin roars into the defence and then gets a ball back for Smith. And now Bromwich. And now Bryson Goodwin. And left Tyrone Roberts behind. But David Fafita drags him out. A bit of Gordon Tallis about that. Tackled in a touch. It's a nice play leading up. Some beautiful hands. Trusty left foot step and then Fafita just drags him. Look at that for power. Bit of Gordon about that. Yeah, it takes me back. Always <laughs> <laughs> Bryson Goodwin a couple of times. He's 19. Yeah. You sure? Now Bryson Goodwin's 34. High shot, look. Same setup. White and the Troll Mitchell behind the ruck. And they'll swing late. Here's a kick for the speedsters. And Anoka, oh, he's been taken out. He has been run off the ball back here. Well, this is Simbi. It has escort. to be. Joey, it's an escort. Goffy, Goffy. Hang on. Goffy. Time off. I need you, I need you to stop. We want a review. I have no try that it's not a penalty try. It's way back. But I believe that there's interference by Jerome Hughes. We're looking at a potential sin bin. He's had his great setup too. Yeah. We've got no try. I just want to check for a potential professional foul sin bin on the kick chase. Jerome Hughes. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Indigenous kick chase are on side. Look how fast he is. <laughs> he just gave up there, Jerome Hughes. Yeah. Soon well, he just changed. Jerome Hughes has changed line yeah. and obstructed the run of Josh Adokar. Look at the stride of the jet. Due to the distance of the ball from the incident, we cannot be sure a try would be scored, but we do have a professional foul. Melbourne teammates are embracing, having a giggle. <laughs> well, Jerome trains with him every day. I think he knew that he was a thousand to one to keep okay. pace. Adam, he Adam! Won't, he won't be giggling Adam. for the next 10 minutes. Adam. Adam. Yeah, yeah, Adam. That, that is potential score and it takes away Josh's opportunity. Are you, are you certain? No, if, if we were certain he was going to score, hang on. If we were certain he was going to score, it would be a penalty try. But because of the distance, it's a professional foul. Ka Katie. No, no, who was the Jerome. Jerome. a QC It's Corey. Jerome. It's Corey. That's only five minutes in four stars. Five minutes in all stars. <laughs> for the mark for Scoffy. <laughs> I didn't get that on the rule sheet. The five minutes in him. Yes, Jets, ten metres out. A few different rules oh, for this match, but that isn't one of them. Yeah, the penalty, uh, no, you can take it back, just wait. Wait till drive off the field, mate. Hey, boys, you got to hold here. It's, it's from the so original a good opportunity. Adam. Adam. We're down to 12, and the Indigenous team will okay, have a full now. set inside the Maori's 20. The opening try scorer, Josh Curran. Stop within seven metres of the line. Peets is waiting for it. Goes to Tyrone Peachy on his home patch here on the Gold Coast, so they haven't put him down. Back to Kerr. Nikarima 
helping Brandon Smith with the defence. Peets. With the ball away now for Joel Thompson. He'd be a popular try scorer. Been crowded there. That's for, for Fita, sorry. And now Peets. Have a, have a bit of impatient there. The ball's the been up. lost with a couple of plays left on the set. Well, it helped the Maori team because Kalen Tonga in that position can defend in the line. So now they're scrum. down to 12 men. It helps in that position. Let's bring in the Maori All-Stars coach, David Kidwell. Thanks for joining us, David. Your team's got a bit of a task here down to 12 for the next little while. Yeah, it is, mate. Um, we have to dig deep, you know. Um, you know, we got we got 12 men down, but we really believe in our defence, and um, we've got to make sure we t keep turning up for each other and have each other's back. But what changes now in attack, David? We yeah. have 12 men. Yeah, mate. We just got to, We haven't been completing, you know, like our, how I'd like to, like to, and um, we just got to execute our plays. We created a few opportunities there. We just got to make sure we execute the plays and finish them off. Saw some comments during the week, David, from your captain Adam Blair saying that you need to be more physical, that maybe last year you were a little bit overawed by the occasion. Yeah, look, I thought we started well, you know, in, in the first 10 minutes. And just there, we, we just need to start being a bit more effective in our contact. But I thought we started really well. And we just need to make sure, you know, we don't give the Indigenous team um, any room to move because, uh, as you can see, they were dangerous. So we just got to keep up our contact and make sure we're being effective. Corey Har Harawira Naira has been impressive. Reminds of a young David Kidwell. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he's probably had, he's probably got more hair than I did back in that, back in those days. But you know, um, goes you know, good, I mean, eh? Yeah, he goes real good. Um, you know, he's a good fellow off the field as well, and um, you know, he's, he's the, one of the heart and soul and real leaders in this team. Great to chat, David. Thank you. Thank you, David Kidwell, inside the coach's box. We thank both teams for the, uh, the access they've given us tonight. It's good to be able to take you. Right behind the normally closed walls is Nikarima. Rolls one along the turf and Ferguson gives it to the trail. Hasn't seen much football at all tonight, Andrew. Oh, there's a deaf pass out the back. Ado Car couldn't handle it. Well, that's the mindset of Latrell Mitchell, why he's so dangerous. Because he never second guesses himself. Doesn't matter where he is on the field. Think of the grand final last year, the flick out the back to Tupo, which won the game when Tedesco scored. If it's there, he backs himself. And really, Addo Carr should have been away there. That ball was perfect. And Latrell knows it. Just can produce something out of absolutely nothing. Freaky. Got an overlap here with Tonga on the short side. They go away from him to Nikarima firstly. And now he's done masters. Bolstering up that Cowboys back line this year. Valentine Holmes, part of the Cowboys set up too. A new stadium, some new faces. If you're a Cowboys fan, there's a bit to be excited about it. Smith explodes towards the line. Up against the stripe when he played it. It goes from Bromwich now to Walker and Ponga. Tackled strongly there. Jack White and responsible for it. Dylan Walker rolls it through. It's off a boot and it's set up to perfection. Straight on the chest of Cody Nikarima. And they're down to 12, but they're back in front, the Maori All Stars. And Dylan Walker there playing as a first receiver. He's played a bit of 5 8 for the Manly Club. And there he was putting in the kick. For his outside supports. Normally he'd be out there wide, but he was in there. At, look, a, bit, a little bit of luck. It was played at by the Indigenous team and a nice little snatch there as well. And yeah, Nikarima calls this. Watch the high shot, Harvey Norman replay. So Nikarima, he calls the play. And great combination there. They react. Get a bit of luck, but it was good communication and they were both on the same page. Big bonus, 12, down to 12 men scoring there. Sam. I'm here with uh, the try scorer, Cody Nikarima. Now, you uh, you wanted that kick, mate. Uh, did, the, did the deflection help you? Oh, I mean, it did, I reckon. Even if it didn't deflect, I think we would have put it through nicely, and uh, hopefully I got a good bounce, so 
happy that they defected it because uh, we ended up with the four points. Mate, congratulations. Good try. Thanks, brother. Good to see you. Back to you. Thank you, Sam. And one from right in front here for Kalen Ponga. Time to run, boys. Keep behind it here. Good contest. <laughs> try for try. With the Maori outfit uh, back ahead. 12 points to six. Enjoying this, Paul? I am, actually. It's really good. Well, it means a lot to both teams. <laughs> and, you know, they're, they're playing at high quality. A lot, lot of intensity. I mean, they're hitting as hard as they would in June or July. Runs into Jermaine Tornua Brown, who hasn't played in NRL matches. We've been saying Smith through the middle, Ponga in support. Back to Smith. It's a one-two play, and then uh, the extra support came on the outside. Not back says the referee. Firstly, but that decision's been overturned by Jared Suck. Jeez, I wish Kalen Ponga backed himself there. I think it was the right play to pass, but. Would have seen, loved to have seen him be a little bit selfish and take him on. Great speed. Great cover there from the outside backs of the Indigenous boys. Hasn't his game really come on, this young lad, Look Brandon Smith? Hey, what a play. Very good. I mean, he was used originally by Melbourne off the bench and it's more as a batting ram than anything else, but he's just showing what skill he's got as a dummy half. And if Cameron Smith ever does retire, then Brandon might get a go. He's made that position his own for New Zealand, Paul. But yeah. Think back to their test win over the Aussies a couple of years back now, but he absolutely ripped Australia apart in his first appearance in the number nine for New Zealand, and he's been equally as impressive ever since. Well, there's a typical Blake Ferguson run. That was a nice play by Tom, just sitting right behind the dummy half, telling him when to run and where to run. So would have put a smile on Billy Slater's face down there. That was beautiful fullback play. There he is, calling the shots. A reminder, we've got Kalen Ponga mic'd up during the match, and we'll bring you a montage of that during halftime, which is nine minutes and 15 seconds away. Played on tackle five. Pete's for Jack Whitehead. Goes to Ramian and Walker gets him in a bear hug. He's got so much strength, Ramian, to get the ball away there, but it's come back for a Tenny Zelesniak and a bit of broken play. Just on Ramian, Andrew, you think the Sharks have got a couple of handy centers this year? Ramian and Bronson Sherry. Strength of big barrel chest, well balanced. That was a great tackle by Dylan Walker. One on one. He looks he's in, he's in for a huge year. He's moved the size of him. Zane Tedovano, a new recruit for the Panthers. Premiership winner with the Roosters. And the ball's been lost. Okay, right there, Cody. He's up now, all up. So Kalen Tonga there. I understand Nike has made a special boot for Kalen Tonga with his name on him and the Maori flag on the back. The Nike's there. And even though he's born in Australia, Kalen, he's playing out of respect for his father, Andre, who was from the Natakura family tribe. I hope I pronounced that right. I apologise if I did. This is in for a big year. KP. 
right hand. Just crashes into a Teddy Zelesny arc, but they put a push on. Now Ado Car, the dummy, and an attempt at a takeoff, but he is a nap there in the tackle. Over the halfway, Thompson. Yeah, the 10 minutes is up. And Brad Takarangi's taken the field instead of Jerome Hughes. Now Pete's kicks, charge down. Uh -oh. Another set of six, and Latrell Mitchell. The Indigenous fans will raise the roof off this joint if he can score a try tonight. Now Roberts. In the thick of the action, in the middle of the field, bounced away from one, gave the pass. And just turn the intensity dial up here. The Indigenous All-Stars. The skipper, Joel Thompson. Stopped in a good tackle. Kevin Proctor. Smith this time. Can't advance the position. Stopped by... Kenny Bromwich, here's Tyrone Roberts. Has a run himself. But the Maori All-Star goal line defence pretty good just at the minute. Whiten. He'll try a kick and it's fielded nicely. Well done by Britton Nakora. Now Brad Tucker rang it as Ramian again with a big tackle this time. He was able to offload though. Bryson Goodwin. Another offload. Back to Isaac Luke. A backhanded flip, and eventually the tackle's made. Well, I like that one. That's telling a game. He's been their best player from the wing. Heavily involved, high intensity. He's been so good. 17, Jordan Ricky onto the park for the Maori side as Ponga splits them up the middle. It's Ponga and Latrell coming together again. They've lost it. Oh, they just put wings on four points there, possibly six. I've got to give a wrap to the outside backs of the Indigenous. It looked like all a try, but the outside men, they all work together. You'll see Ponga comes back through the beautiful inside pass here. And Ferguson will get back. Latrell holds. Then they all work together. Look at Ferguson. He's got his arm out talking to each other. I really could have swallowed that. But they all work together. Once again, the outside backs. We saw Addo Carr in the first quarter at time. You should have choked on that one. What do you think he's thinking, Fatty? Another scrum, middle of the field. It seems to be, well, that's three scrums they've taken in the middle of the field, as did the Maoris when they had an opportunity. So it seems to be a current constant theme, doesn't it, Andrew? The, it is the best spot to it's attack so from. but defend, especially when they had the two attackers behind the right. When they swung, they automatically had that overlap. Really smart play. Josh Kerr, strong tonight. Another offload. His ball playing with the first try. Now Roberts down the right-hand side. Keeps it alive. Comes back for Tyrone Roberts. Now for Tyrone Peachy. Spins it to Ramian. Steps inside of a Teddy Zelesniak. Ramian dangerous. Oh, barreled. Good tackle. Isaac Luke dumped him into the ground. Peachy. Here's the last. They've got half time, only at three and a bit minutes away. A death kick by Roberts. Ferguson up in the air, tap back. Isan Masters gets it. Strong tackle. Chris Smith. 20 out there as well for the Indigenous All Stars. Tyrell Fui Maiano. Linked up with the Dragons for season 2020. A lot of player movement in the Premiership proper coming up. You'll see it all here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Yeah, we've got a big year ahead of us. 2020, I, I like the signing 
of Isaac Luke for the Dragons. He's a veteran, but he still had a pretty good year last year for the Warriors. Good from dummy half and kicks goals if they need it. Well, that torpedo ball. There's a ripper. Dylan Walker reefed it downfield and Addo Carr with the explosion. Only 32, Isaac Luke Paul. I mean, he, there was a, a long period there when he was what, top couple of hookers in the world, yeah. wasn't he? No, he's still got it. And especially with the injury to that young McGuinness. Yeah. Yeah. They'll, need, they'll need Isaac. It'll be their main number nine to start the year. An MCL for Cameron McGuinness as Robert sees some ball on tackle number three. Wayne Bennett saying this is the best he's looked starting a season. James Roberts, it's been a, a gruelling off-season for all of them, but he looks really fit, James Roberts. Hamstring and groin injuries have been an issue for him over a little while now. Let's hope he's fit and firing. Addo Carr taps it back. Here's a chance to go backwards off the contest. He called knock, knock on. on. He called knock, knock on originally. Just wait, Corey. This is good footy. It's not your, okay. your, your, your purest form, but gee, it's entertaining. It's a great event. And this is where it all started 10 years ago. There's a healthy crowd in. I think it holds 20-something in this joint. It's probably 17, 18 in, maybe 20. There's a lost now ball. This Ferguson could be a try. Off a hey. lost ball. He kicks it to the end goal. He'll dive on it. And the <laughs> bat. That's match. How good. Brad Arthur's just fallen over. Zero, zero tackle. Sorry? I'm on, I'm on zero tackle. I have no try. Oh. On from the Indigenous in stripping the ball. All right, no try the call. And Blake Ferguson, two backflips in two years in this game. Did it last year too. Let's have a look. What are we looking for? A steal? Are we a one-on-one -on -one steal? Is it? Or is it two? And there's only one in the tackle. So that's that's come out backwards. Is there an offside here? Does, does Roberts does he touch the ball in an offside position? It's all okay to hear. And the steel's all right. The ball's, I mean, it's actually a knock on, or it's been knocked back towards the Indigenous goal line, so it's play on, right? What are they looking for? There's not two in the tackle. James Roberts strips the ball and it travels back. Thanks, Scoop. Playing on to this point. Yeah. Oh, that's all good. Picked it up cleanly, and then he puts in a little kick Blake for Ferguson's himself. picked the ball up cleanly. Smart play. Does Ferguson rip Malachi with his Lesniak? It's a clean contest for the ball. Oh, are you sure, are you sure about that? <laughs> what about the push in the back? Malachi with Tini's Lesniak is falling to the ground. Oh. Blake... Blake Ferguson grounds the ball on the in goal. We have a decision. Here comes the backflip. I thought he was barred from backflips after last year's All Stars. Obviously not. And Blake Ferguson is awarded a try in the throws of half time. JT. Yeah, here with Fergo, mate. Last year, your landing was maybe a 6 out of 10. What do you give yourself with that landing? 10 out of 10, baby. <laughs> mate, the intensity out here tonight is off the charts. How are you feeling? It's full on A for, um, for a 20, 20 uh, like quarter. It's off a dead. <laughs> I love it, but that's what it's all about, boys. No it's all the best in the second half, Mark. See you, JT. Thank you, Jonathan. Thanks to Blake Ferguson. And a great strip, wasn't it, by James Roberts, one-on-one. -on -one.
That's something that's really, really coming into our game a lot now, the one-on-one -on -one strip. And then Blake Ferguson finished it off. He looks like an extra out of Narcos, Series 2. Blake Ferguson. But that's a brilliant piece of rugby league by him. To lock us up at the break. Tyrone Roberts leaves it out right. Well, that is a great 40 minutes of footy. What a way to warm up for the season proper. The Maori All-Stars 12 over the Indigenous All-Stars 10. Sam. Blake Ferguson turning on the theatrics as the Indigenous All-Stars draw within a couple of points of the Maori All-Stars as we head into the second half. 12-10. It's been a game played at well, breakneck speed, you'd have to say. And a number of factors influencing that. Unlimited interchange and the, the uh, four quarters we're playing here has meant that the players, despite this being their first real competitive hit out of 2020, have had some time to get the oxygen into their lungs. And there's been great passion and real determination to win from both sets of players. Inside the Maori sheds, Dallin with Tenny Zalesniak on screen there, along with Adam Blair, the co-captains tonight. And Dallin has been exceptional. Sacrificed his body with those ferocious runs, carrying the ball back and, and taking the heat off some of his bigger men in the centre of the park. Kalen Ponga has had a couple of chances in, in broken play. And if not for some ball handling issues, the, the Maori team could have been a couple of extra tries ahead here. They've been bombed a couple of oh, tries. They, yeah, the they bombed a couple. couple. In particular, Ponga out to uh, Kenny Bromwich. That was, uh, that was ordinary, but I mean, it's not about who wins the game anyway. Tonight, it's just a celebration both cultures and welcome back to uh, 13 inside rugby league. Who's caught your eye? Well, Wateni Zelezniak, Dallin, has been sensational for the Maoris. Uh, Mitchell's had a couple of nice touches. Jesse Ramian has been since he's almost untackleable. Just been absolutely brilliant. Really strong. Joss Kerr's had, had a couple of really good touches as well. The feed has been strong. And also, uh, Brandon Smith, he, he was outstanding in the first half of the Maoris. Well, they were beaten by 20 points last year, the Maori All-Stars. But they are ahead here as we head into the second half. They're missing a couple of, of guys that would have been walk-up starts here in James Tamo and Nelson Asifa Solomona because of injury and that has allowed a younger front rower by the name of Jordan Ricky to be called in to this Maori side without having played an NRL match he's with Brisbane North in the Intra Super Queensland Cup week 17 for David Kidwell's team what a thrill for a young man to get a taste of big time rugby league alongside some of the absolute champions of the modern game. Here's Jesse Bromwich playing it to Brandon Smith. And then a, a great run by Harawira Naira. The yeah, Fatty, I've enjoyed the way the game's been refereed. Only two penalties. The game really flows. Yeah, it has. And uh, I've bumped into Graham Ennisley in the tuck shop at half time. And uh, he was happy as how it's going. And I said, look, the. The scrum thing's been really good. All four scrums so far have been in the middle of the field. And he's asking about, do you think that'll be exciting for the fans? Well, already has. down. Well done, Connor Watson. There's Jordan Ricky, the man that we highlighted in 17 with a covering tackle. Yeah, it's just giving teams more options to score. Haven't seen a captain's challenge yet either. That'll come, I think, late in the game. That's what the NRL is saying anyway. And if the, the captain's challenge goes well through this match and uh, one of the other trial games, and looks like taking place in the premiership itself, Mitchell. 
With the ball for David Fafina against the grain. That's where he's so dangerous. Dangerous pretty much anywhere, actually. Watson. And a nice pass from the first gamer, Tanoa Brown. This time, Peachy. Blair and Harawiranaira slow off the tackle that time. And it's out to Ramian. He bumps off Takarangi this time. And Ricky is in there. And he won't be letting him go. Five and last. A cross kick by Roberts aimed towards Ferguson's side of the ground. It doesn't get that far though. And it's well taken by the veteran. Bryson Goodwin, 34 years of age. Back with South Sydney. This year, oldest player on the field tonight. Now, Kalen Ponga. Cody Nicarema doing dummy half work. Pass for Kevin Proctor. Kenny Bromwich, sorry. Uh, Billy, down to you. Yeah, just got some news for the co captain uh, of the Maldi team, Dallin Watini Zelezniak. He seemed to have picked up a back injury. I don't know how how serious it is. He is out here on the sideline, but we're getting word that he won't be back out. I think it was when he scored that try early in the game. Thank you, Billy. Now the Karima. A high kick. Downfield for Ferguson. And he drags the defence with him over the 30-metre line. Josh Adokar. Quick play the ball by Watson. And that allows Joel Thompson to uh, steal 12 metres. He played for the Indigenous All-Stars team in the first match back in 2010. And his captain tonight, Roberts. Can't see off Adam Blair. He just grabbed hold before he could break through the line. Watson waiting a dummy half. Tackle number five here. Mitchell, that's a good kick. Ponga's got it covered, but he has to play it dead. Just watch the balance. The balance here is Dallin. With the doctors. The balance and the skill here of Latrell Mitchell. He catches the ball. He steps in one motion. Finds space. And then... The beautiful touch off the inside of his boot. That is just something Time that run. you cannot coach. Watch this Step for skill. It. Step into space. Touch. Perfect. Amazing talent. Now Josh Kerr. We have the Dragons. The appeared in this... Uh, match last year, having not played an NRL game himself. Peachy second receiver, Mitchell. It's a sloppy pass, but it was kicked by James Roberts, so they've been able to retain possession. Roberts, Tyrone Roberts nearly through the line. Try saving tackle, Brad Takarangi. Now Watson, he looked left and he went right. And he's millimetre short. Tyrone Roberts does the dummy half work, a kick by Peachy. It's been grounded in the end goal, I think, by the Maori team. Josh Adokar doesn't agree. Now the interesting thing here might be whether Jesse Ramian is on side and has involved okay. himself in Cheers the play. He's looking at there very quick. Have a try. Try, Just says Jared Sutton. Onside, please, mate, Brad Takarangi, was, he was appealing to the referee. Jesse Ramian is in front of the kick, playing on. Yeah, I mean... Ramian Ray becomes involved in the yeah. play. We have a decision. No try. Yeah, he made contact with the 
Maori player who turned and tried to chase the ball there. So, because he was offside. Nil by try. Ooh, that's us, she said. Right, let's go, Goffy. We're going. We're going. Fatty, what about when you were playing? Who are some of the great Maori players you played against? From the 60s or the 70s? <laughs> Olsen Filipana. I remember as an 18 year old, I got picked in a, a Brisbane Colts team. And we played against the New Zealand side. And Olsen Filipana ran it. And he looked like a house. And I didn't know what to do. And, mate, he was frightening. Olsen. He used to get well, the king. The king was a great defender, but he used to give the king plenty of tea in test matches. He was one of their greats. Olsen played for Balmain for quite a few years in the Sydney comp. Hugh McGann was a great, great Kiwi, great Maori, fantastic. Kenny Romich now. Brandon Smith down a short side. The kick rolled through, and it's well covered. He's got a good pair of heels there, David. Clean up, clean up that kick now, Ferguson. Taken by Jerome Hughes, who was sing binned in the first half. Now at a par. Nearly snuck past them. Peachy looks to be playing in the halves at the minute. Try to pass for Wade Graham, laid off load, now Ramian. You're right about that, Paul. They cannot tackle him at the first attempt. Watson, one-handed scoop and run. He's been dangerous since he's come on Connor Watson around the run. One oh, one-on-one one one steal. Brandon Smith, well done. A cutout ball for Goodwin. Back into the middle of the field. Got a good tackle, actually. By Zach Sadler from the Manly Seagulls. Cullen was the last man off the tackle. Now Masters. I was looking at him in the, the warmer. Masters, he looks in really good shape. I think he'd be a great pickup for the Cowboys this year. Isaac Zach Luke. For a rampaging Zane Tedavano. They're ahead by a couple of the Mountie All Stars. Luke fires a pass. Ponga's out the back here. Deaf left foot kick. That's nice play. Oh, there was a collision and nearly a mix up. Now there's a, a call of escort. And they look to be an infringement there. Escort. No, difference is, it's a different situation. You got the mark of it there, Goffin? Yeah, mate. Mark's over here, Isaac. That was Ramian running off his line to Shepard to chase her off the ball. It's the test now for the Indigenous All-Stars. They've had a lot of footy. The Maori outfit down here. And they'll be asked to defend another set on their line. Here goes Tedavano. Almost centre field. Seven metres out. Adam Blair tries to sell a dummy. No one wanted to buy it. That was a really good tackle. There's an appeal for a lost ball. And Sadler again. He's physical in defence, this young man. Isaac Luke to Tedavano to Walker. Good tackle on Jordan Ricky. Now Isaac Luke can't navigate a passage through. The defence good through four tackles. Tedavano for Ponga. Spiralling pass for Hughes and Abromich out the back. It's play on here. And the All-Stars, the Indigenous All-Stars, have got the footfall back. Tyrone Peachy with it. They're getting a little bit sloppy, the handling now, as the players nearly 50 minutes in, getting a little bit tired. 
Tell you what, from what I've seen of Bryson Goodman, he, he'll be a good buy for the Bunnies this year. He's been heavily involved in the game. He kicks goals as well. Might be a sneaky good buy at the age of 34. Play the ball away here. Mitchell goes to dummy half. To Tyrone Roberts and James Roberts now. Whizzes on the outside. Then a ball for Ferguson, who's trying to muscle through. It goes back to Tyrone Roberts, who's pulled down around the bootlaces. Oh, that was great play. Exhilarating stuff. Peachy with a kick towards the line. Ponga gets the ball but can't step away. What about the classic James Roberts there, Andrew? There was nothing happening. He got the ball, and there was defenders everywhere, and he stood up the Sam Masters like he wasn't even there. That was like watching under ace. Watch this. He didn't get a hand on it. So he's lost eight kilos. Yeah. And you can see that the rest in the preseason has allowed him to get those those leg injuries right. Move, Josh. He had, it was a groin and, and hamstring. He just couldn't stretch out really at all last year. Look at this some striking that South Sydney back line. And a kick for the corner finds the line. He shaped this ball perfectly. He kicks it, but then kicks across the ball so it bananas through the air nice kick let's go to the indigenous all-stars coaches box laurie daly hey loz hey mate how are you mate really good uh, down by a couple what are you uh, what are you seeing here yeah it's a difficult one isn't it <laughs> we're in a bit of trouble at the moment but um yeah they made a few line breaks in that first uh, 40 minutes through the middle so we're looking to sort of be a little bit tighter through there and uh, try and be a bit more effective with the footy. We had no support play and we didn't really sort of get ourselves in a, a, any sort of shape to, to put on some play. So hopefully that'll change in this uh, next 40 minutes. The, the trick shots from the scrum, Loz, who came up with that? Uh, well, we spoke about it with the boys and we knew that um, the, the Fox had the speed on the end. So uh, it's going to be hard to defend if you're coming up against Melbourne this year, I suspect. <laughs> Just say you, Laurie. You're allowed, you're allowed to give yourself a rap. We know it was all you. It's an awkward, oh, yeah, sure an awkward tackle out here at the moment, Fat. Mm. Oh, Chris Smith, I think. Twist. Not well. Uh, Laurie, a lot of talk this week around Latrell Mitchell, but um, Jesse Ramian, he's sort of flown under the radar during the week. Geez, he's had a game. Yeah, he has. He's very strong carrying the ball, and he's, uh, he's a lot lighter than what he was last year. Um, and he, he's in good good physical shape obviously and he's strong when he carries but yeah Latrell just hasn't been able to get into the game and mm. we've got to sort of find a way to do that and the play the ball, uh, the ball speed has been really slow so it's hard to sort of move the ball so we've sort of changed it up a little bit we want to try and go through the middle so every time we went wide in that first 40 we just it was just they were just getting up in our faces so we couldn't really do anything so hopefully we'll play back through the middle and we might see a bit more footy through there it's been a great week for the game laurie well done to your team and the maori all-stars as well yeah thanks boys cheers see ya laurie daly the indigenous all-stars coach now this is bad luck for chris smith you don't want to see injuries at any time but particularly in these pre-season matches He's a real pro, Chris Smith. He's been at a, a number of clubs, the, the Panthers and the Roosters and, and now the Bulldogs. So we hope that's not too serious for he and his club. Now Whiten. He's had a limited involvement as well, Jack. Threatened to spark to life that time and offload Pitaro and Peachy. By Graham. It's a wonky one. Now it bounces favourably for Kalen Ponga. He's a bit slow to his feet as well. 
I think that's exhaustion more than anything else. What do you think the new coach? It's the nice Adam O'Brien did when he saw Kalen lay down there. Oh. You expect to see a bit more consistency from him this year, Andrew. I know last year it was a bit disjointed. He started the year at 5 8 and then back to fullback. Yeah, I think he'll have a big year. What are you hearing about the Knights under the new coach, Andrew, up there? Yeah, they're really enjoying it, I understand. Short side right. Here goes Masters. He broke out of the tackle. Ferguson came late on the scene and, and stopped him. 13 out from the line. Two passes wide to Hughes. He kicks through the line. He's chasing himself. Oh, awkward bounce. Now, does uh, Alex Johnston ground this? And I don't even know if Hughes has grounded it. Actually, it might be a double. I've got no Not try. Gone. I think Just it's gone backwards. that Alex Johnston grounds the ball in the end goal. Well, they'd be hoping Alex Johnson doesn't ground it because Jerome Hughes bounces it. Yeah, he had a chance to score a try, I think, Jerome Hughes. Alex Johnson comes from the wing. Nice kick. Kick chases are onside. So no grounding. and Ball knocked backwards in the end goal by Alex Johnson. He tries to... Grounds it. Oh, does he? It was downward pressure. Which the left hand come and he pushes down on the ball. There. <laughs> yeah, right up. And the ball is grounded in the in goal. We have a decision. Trell Mitchell get us back underway. Didn't hit that at all well, and Ponga will be dragged back though. The Maori All Stars by two points as we kickstart season 2020 here on Nine's Wide World of Sports with the All Stars match on the Gold Coast. It's been Really good entertainment so far. And the outcome very much in the balance at this stage. Harawira and Ira. Saddled firmly. Wade Graham in the front line there. Oh, Smith bursting through. Dragged down by Latrell Mitchell. That's what he can do. It's just power and strength and... And a never say die attitude for Brandon Smith. Away for Hughes. Good pong up. He kicks on the outside of the boot. Johnston covers well. But Harrower and Ira gets him. Ball and all. Now Ferguson straight into the teeth of the defence. That's Josh Kerr. a couple now with uh, Smith and Kurt having left the field in the space of a couple of minutes there's Brandon Smith here's a break by Fafita inside to Roberts he turns Ponga inside out he never stood a chance Kalen Ponga totally outpaced by James Roberts the jet is in full flight and that's why he's been one of the most sought after forwards in the game David Fafita a break on his own 20 metre line, carving them up. He's so strong, he's got pace. And he's 19. And then and the typical James Roberts just backing up. Look at that on the own 20. Draws and passes perfectly. Someone like David Fafita, when you're defending on, on an edge as a smaller player, he'd be a waste tackle. So they're trying to grab at the jerseys or go high. If you're a smaller man, you just hit him right around the belly button, try to cut him in half because with his strength, impossible to stop up high. Harvey Norman replay, Jimmy the Jet. 
on fire. JT? Yeah, I'm with the Jet here, mate. How good is it playing alongside David Fafita? Yeah, it's good to be back outside him. Um, you know, he's a fucking freak, sorry. He's a beast, and, uh, you know, he's got a big potential, but, you know, I just keep telling him to stay outside. He keeps holding the ball. <laughs> About time he's set me up. All the best, brother. Thank you, James. Thank you, Jonathan. Beep. The player like David Feeder. So, look at that. You know, you, you hit him around the hips and just slide down, lock his legs. That's your best option. He still might get the ball away. Like Ferguson's doing the goal kicking. Oh, this could be anything. <laughs> the Indigenous All-Stars have hit the front for the first time tonight and Blake Ferguson puts an extra two on the board. Cody, behind it. Isaac Luke with the restart. Did we see some, uh, some talent in that little passage of play. David Fafita made the break and Roberts. I mean, Kalen Ponger himself is, is lightning fast. But James Roberts went past him like he was glued to the spot. Tyrell Fuimano. Tackled by Bromwich. And a good run by Joel Thompson. Tackled over the halfway. Jack Whiten. A towering kick on the fourth tackle. Ponga! Special catch. He just makes it look so easy. I think he jumped too early, but he made the difficult look so easy. He gets it all wrong. That's up there and hangs. Mr. Intensity. Brilliant. <laughs> Now, Harawi Naira with another good run. Yeah, I like that. It, like, not only can he, he plays on the edge so well, but he's also willing to go right up the middle if he has to. Corey. Three quarter time. Sirens already sounded. And we've got a double knock on. So that will bring double knock on. the quarter double to a conclusion. 20 minutes left. The Indigenous All Stars have captured the lead 16 12. Good to have you with us. The final 20 minutes of the All-Stars Clash is underway with a Tyrone Peachy restart. Laurie Daly's Indigenous side ahead by four points. But this match really threatens to open up here in the, the final period. There's some tight boys out there. And more to the point, there is some... Electric speed out wide for both teams. We've seen glimpses of it right throughout the match so far. Who would you back over 100? Ado Carr or James Roberts, Fatty? If you weren't wow. able to bet. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm not a punter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, probably Ado Carr over the 100. Yes. Maybe over 50, James Roberts. Hughes, a challenging kick for Ferguson, he spills it, it's picked up here, it's going to be a Maori all 
Stars try. Nice good one in the corner. Make sure there's not yep. a knock on okay. by it. I'm back to tackle one. I have a try. Just want to clear that contest for us, kids. Make sure there's no hand from the Maoris. Mary left hand kick chase are on side. It's his forearm. Knock on. It? The yeah, that's a knock on. Straight off his inside of his forearm onto Blake Ferguson. Ball has come off the forearm of Eastern Masters forward into Blake Ferguson. We have a decision. I should be on the bunk. Be careful what you wish for, Paul. <laughs> Pass. Um, another 20 metre. Okay. Yeah. 10 metres in. Yeah. Go, go there. Mate. Play the ball there. It's a handover, boys. Touches their son's Play forearm the on the way through. It's a handover. Brandon. It's a Just handover. Play the ball, mate. No time on got right here, Goffey. Oop. Use the foot there, Jones. Stay square, hold. Play the ball. No. Davis a feed up. Hey! Already the Queensland Origin representative. Did a great job as a teenager in the games at Greatest Cauldron. Another turnover, though. Malachi Watini Zelezniak has the ball. Plays it to Brad Takarangi. Through to Dylan Walker. And Corey Harawira Naira. Tedavano out for Hughes. Oh, lovely little play there. Ponga around the back. Rifles it to Goodwin. They get it covered. Roberts the defender. Straight over the top of them. Ponga's got to go back. Dylan Walker. There's nowhere to go. This is what I say. You just take it up and they'll reset. Hughes. Away through Bromwich. And the tackle affected 24 metres out of the Indigenous All Stars line. Masters. Hughes, good kick, it comes down in the field of play, it's touched back. Oh, the ball bobbled around and somehow Addo Kars managed to save the day. That was a great kick by Hughes. He rescued the set, good example there. You can fluff around, five tackles there, you get a good kick in. You can ice the set. Very lucky again, Addo Carr was back there. Oh, geez, he was lucky. But he's head in an awkward oh. position there when Adam Blair no. came through. His head really twisted up. Tackle three. Tackle three here. Look at that Addo right? Carr front on again. Easy, 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 Blake. You can see Tackle the position. He ducks right? his head when Adam Blair comes in. Addo Carr. Don't go yet. Gets his head in a really Tackle awkward three. position. Blake Ferguson. Goffey. Goffey Just watch here. His head's down. He's all good, the Fox. You reckon he had a good time this week? Seen some of the social media posts. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll he's wait. Like he's been on the red yeah, cordial yeah, since they came into camp. Too. Loves it. He is such an infectious character. You just cannot yeah. smile wait when you're around him. Yeah. Yeah, we'll wait, wait. Full of beans. Great to be around. What's ahead, Kevin? Driving defence. Proctor, oh. Bromwich. Brandon Smith are all there. White's going to kick it. Yeah, this is an attempt at a 20-40, and it's not going to come off. In fact, the opposite, it's flown out on the fly. It's a handover. No, no, down the field, Just and there is a 20-40 kick option. No, it's a play the ball. It's a play the ball. And that's what White was trying to take advantage of. They got him. Took right the odds right to right it, here, and his ticket's confetti. Wait, wait, lock in. They're ahead by four, this Indigenous side, but 
They have conceded a lot of possession and they're under pressure on their line. Here's Jesse Bromwich. Played it to Smith. And now Hughes dumps a pass for Kenny Bromwich. He's lost the ball. Joe, you like the 20-40 rule? I do. Yep. Let me ask you this then, why not a 30-30? I mean, what's the difference? If you can kick the ball out 40 metres down the track... I know track, your argument, but... Yeah. I like the 20-40 because what it can do, it can pull a defender out of the line. The winger might go back... The, the, the defensive winger will go back, which then may open up a, a shift out of your own area. Yeah. But my argument is a that can happen on the 30-30 as well. I mean, you know, maybe they just bring in a rule where if you... If you find touch more than 40 metres away, it's a, you get the ball back. We've got some bushfire relief sport to bring you on Nines Wild Water Sports. That next Saturday, the Eels and the Panthers face off in Bega in the NRL's bushfire recovery match. As our game goes on the road to help those affected by the recent devastating bushfires. Then on Sunday, the world's best netballers will face up now, up guys. as the Aussie Diamonds and the Suncorp Super Netball All-Stars meet in their bushfire relief game. You'll see all of that right here next weekend live. I think the 18, you're calling that one, Matty? Connor. Yes, yes. I think the 18's on down there, Gus and Sturlo. Be, uh, I'll be watching that one. It'll be good. You wouldn't miss it, Paul, I know. Brennan! Brennan! It's Fui Mino. A very determined run. And now tonight's unlikely first try scorer, Adam, Josh Curran. Got the wave happening. Around the ground. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Played by the Peach. And now Watson and Alex Johnston. I'm not sure I've seen a Mexican wave at the footy before. Whiten plugs a kick, he was aiming for the corner, but he couldn't get it past Kalen Ponga, but oh, Bryson oh. Goodwin is collared by the man that kicked it, Jack Whiten. Have you seen a Mexican wave at the footy before, Andrew? But not since 1989, <laughs> I haven't seen one. And now Smith. Was it invented in Mexico? Why is it a Mexican wave? Any idea? I don't have the Sorry. Okay. Members stand here, so they can't boo the members when the wave stops traditionally. Oh, Arawira Naira back to Blair to kind of break down there a little bit. Now Dylan Walker has shown some flashes of brilliance tonight. Is there another one coming? All the way to Masters. The game plan's gone out the window. They're, they're trying to play a bit of catch-up footy. Only one try in it. Still plenty of time. 13 and a half minutes. Hughes draws one in now. Kick here by Kenny Bromwich. It sits up nicely for Johnston to run back and be tackled outside his own 20 metre line. Good surging defence. Noah Brown and then tackle that time and again they muscle up. Got the round off load here now Roberts. Whenever there's an offload in the middle of the field and they shift the ball at broken play to James Roberts. He's just near unstoppable. We might have just missed this uh, throughout the flow of the play, but the Maori team actually made a, a captain's challenge earlier, which was unsuccessful. The course of a strip. That's what the delay was. So their challenge is gone. The Indigenous All Stars still have one available to them. Ponga tackled inside his own 20. Now 
Bryson Goodwin. Oh, why Graham limping off the park? He was unassisted, so let's uh, think positively about that. It's an ankle. Zach Sadler, the 16, made the tackle on Ponga that time. Now, Harawira Naira. Within a couple of metres of the halfway line. It's going to go to Kevin Proctor. who will spin it to Masters. Now to Goodwin. Throws it on the left boot. And the ball sits up really well. Oh, Masters has copped a knock there as he was pursuing Johnston, hoping to pin him in the end goal. The referee's cleared it. Ferguson. Well, we've had a, a bit of freestyle footy so far, but suddenly, as we get to the business end, things are getting a bit serious here. You can see there is desperation from both teams again. The Indian side have turned it on. They're calling a challenge here, but the play hasn't stopped. You can't do that, yeah. Uh, if there was a stoppage, I have no doubt the Indigenous would have got the ball back. But play rolls on. Here's the youngster from uh, the North Devils Club, Jordan Ricky, playing it. Hughes, Ponga, one bounce, Goodwin has it. He sticks his head down, tries to get past Blake Ferguson, but he can't do so. That's three tackles gone. The Maori All Stars surging, hoping to draw level and maybe hit the front. Here's Jerome Hughes, tackled by Josh Curran. 12 short, Smith, Dummies goes and does it all himself. Oh, what a player. And the crowd have risen to this excitement machine. Well, all eyes were on Kalen Tonga on the left side. Have a look at the markers. I think it's his housemate, Connor Watson. The markers just have eyes for Kalen Tonga on the left. Harvey Norman replay, look at him looking at Tonga. Connor Watson goes out, and there he is. Brandon Smith, Mr. Intensity. Yeah, he's he nearly, loves it. He's nearly been the best on field tonight. He's been sensational. There's been a lot of really good players, but Brandon's made four or five clean breaks. He loves it. From uh, Waiheke Island, just off, off Auckland, one of the most beautiful places in the world. And they may have a golf course there, Fatty, so you'd love it. Let's go to Sam. He's with the try scorer. This will be good. I am with the try scorer. Now, the, uh, this is Brandon Smith, or as Joey likes to call him, the wheel of cheese. Yeah. Mate, you weren't the wheel of cheese there. You uh, bit of show and go, uh, some tired forwards there. Uh, mate, how you enjoyed uh, the experience tonight? Oh, mate, this is unbelievable. You know, all the boys, I reckon they're playing so well just because we're having so much fun, you know. When we have fun, we have, you know, we start playing good. and It's such a good spectacle, this game, and I'm just... So glad I got to score in it. Well done, mate, uh, and good luck. We have 10 minutes to go, so good luck with that. Thank you very much. Thank you, very much. Thank you brother. Back up to you, Tomo. Thank you, Sam. Well done. And Ponga puts the Maori All Stars ahead. See they... Long, mate. Time you run. Inside the last 10 minutes, and it's anyone's game. Latrell Mitchell back out there. He's had a spell on the bench. Oh, there's a big mistake. Yeah, nice work by Kevin Proctor, the veteran. <laughs> Playing here at the Gold Coast Titans these days. And Brandon Smith, by the way, 149 metres, which is the most by any of the Maoris tonight. Shows how well he has played. So, Proc 
top. Stiff defense, wasn't it? Peachy with Ramian really got a good shot on. Now, Jordan Rickey, part of the Broncos system. He gets to taste footy in the top level. He was like that. Blair changes direction out to Hughes. Beats one, can't beat a second. Well, this might be the game on the line here. Another converted try, and it makes it hard for the Indigenous outfit. Corey Harawira Naira. Eight short of the line. Brandon Smith is going to go again. Oh, is he bounced over? I think he's no got chance. to the line. That will be tackle five. I have no he choice. Has yeah, he lost the ball? Looking at Brandon Smith's grounding, that he puts it down short and promotes. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's a double movement. What's that double movement? Ball is initially grounded short of the line, and then momentum stops briefly before the ball is promoted. We have a decision. Oh, they are bluey, the Maori side. Look at this. They are all up in arms. Well, I don't think you can rule on a double movement in slow motion. I think it has to be in, in true time. No, mate, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Can we see that? Fatty, you're in the bunker. Let's have a look in real time. Looks like a try to me. Yeah, well, the ball ends up on the line. I mean, what's he supposed to do? I mean, momentum in the end carried him over. But he, he, he did lift it. Gave himself a while by actually lifting the arm. That was the problem. And once the referees see that, they go, I oh, know he's promoted it. Even though it still could have been momentum. So I think the bunker should only make ruling in real time. Look at super slow motion. Things like challenges in the air when two players are going for the ball. Show it in real time and get on with it. Another lost ball. Have a look at the reaction here of the Maori oh, team. It's incredible. Oh, wow. Shot clock on. Kevin dropped out. Yep, and watch the co captain, Adam Blair, what it means to him. It's in the middle. We'll see the error. And watch the passion on Kevin Proctor. It's a good stuff. It's, it's really good. There was one-way traffic this time last year, but this Maori team realised they lacked intensity and, and the occasion was too much for them. Not the case this year. Six minutes to go. Kenny Bromwich. They could just about wrap it up here, you'd reckon, with a converted try. Arawira Naira accelerates at the line. Back to Smith, the way to his co-captain, Adam Blair. Fui Maiano wrapping up the ball. The crowd have been right into this too, right from the start. Certainly got their value for money, Jordan Rickey. Blair, that was neat. Smith again! Oh, they're not going to knock him back now, surely! Okay, we can have another look. That will be tail five. I have think this one's good. Just confirm he retains that. Jesus, There's no separation before going. Yeah, how good. He's he been great, Adam Blair, as catches well. Catches in the line. There he is. The block of cheese. Why do you call him the block of cheese again? Have a look at him. It's pulled like a block of cheese. Serious? <laughs> he's, he's as wide as he's tall. Well, he can play. I know that. He's he's been the best player on the field tonight. Come on, what are we looking at? Look at it in real time. Yeah, that gets it. Part Look, of the ball. He gets it down it? with his chin. <laughs> oh, no. He has it knocked it on. Has he? Looking no. to confirm, Brandon Smith maintains possession of the ball. Oh. <laughs>
Brandon Smith maintains possession of the ball until it gets to the goal line. We have a decision. There you go. And this, this pass from Adam Blair. The way he runs into the line. Watch, it, watch what it does to the defence of the Indigenous team. It sucks the defence in towards Adam Blair, which then frees up. Have a look what it does to the defence. Harvey Norman replay. Opens that passage there for Brandon Smith. Sam? Yeah, I'm down here again, Joe, with the block of cheese, as you call him. Uh, now, they took one off you just before. They weren't going to take that one, were they? Uh, I was a bit unlucky, but I probably did a uh, double movement that one. So I'm glad I got the opportunity. Me and Blairsy have been talking about that play all through training, all throughout the week. And a veteran like that, pulling it off, it just feels so good. Yeah, yeah, just to even get to play alongside him is a pleasure. And I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you very much, brother. Thanks, bro. I taught him that too. Ah, yeah, mate. Don't go early. He's still got 10 seconds. Time your run, David. There's been a quick restart here. Oh, there's a push and shove too. Yeah, I mean, the, the tackle was made and Latrell just jumped on him. Not too much. You know, they're all Let's laughing. Penalty to the Maoris. It was like a rock and roll wrestling move. Atomic splash. Which <laughs> lifts him up. Atomic splash. <laughs> One. Two, uh, three, uh. <laughs> Brandy Ma Nacho made Savage just to do that for him. So did Killer Kowalski. We're talking 1966 there, though. He's had a big game, Corey. He's in for a big year, isn't he? Much improved this year, the Bulldogs. Well, they showed up in the last year, didn't they? They found their DNA last year. Gritty, tough. So they'd love to get clear and four and back fit. And for an extended run. Mm. Well, I think about two thirds of the way through the year, Dean Pay let the coaching manual go and just let them play some footy. And they started to, and they, I think they won, what, seven of the last eight or six of the last seven, something like that. win outside the eight there. Yeah. They just weren't flashy. They just dragged you down and made it a, a real dog fight. Oh, he's lost this. That'll be it. We're going to run out of time to... James Roberts kicks it before he hits the ground. The last ditch Maori's comeback. And this Maori all-star team. Scrum clock. Going. You can't stand, guys. The still going. They've decided it's an Indigenous All-Stars feed now. So they've got a score in the next 20 seconds, you reckon? I think Kalen Tong is coming to the sideline. He's had a bit of cramp in the last five minutes. No, 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 no. It's a penalty. Indigenous team. No, it's not a quick one. It's not a quick one, mate. So Latrell taps it and Joel Thompson hugged into the defence and it was hit really well there by Kevin Proctor. What a way to start a long, thrilling season. It's been a great game of footy. Peachy! Explodes through the middle. He stops and props, turns, comes back, gives an offload to Peets. He chips it towards Ferguson. Oh, if he gets a bounce here, he was nearly over. Instead, it was Hughes who grabbed the ball. Oh, how good would that have been if it landed on Ferguson's chest?
goes Kenny Bromwich now. A minute remaining. Audi All-Stars are going to make it one win each in their annual clash against this Indigenous All-Stars outfit. That's the result on the field, but with the work that's been done in the community in the lead-up to this, I think everyone would agree it's an important part of the rugby league calendar. And it paints rugby league in the light that it very much deserves. Jerome Hughes sends one high. It bounces in no man's land. It bounces over the top of the full back and it bounces up for Dylan Walker to finish the match with a try under the post. There wasn't much doing here. The kick goes to open space. Dylan Walker kick will go up from Jerome Hughes. Harvey Norman replay. Indigenous boys are slow to get there, ball bounces. Dylan Walker wants it more than anyone else on the field. Crashes over. Have a look at the celebrations. Dylan Walker. Great way to finish the game. I think it was Jonathan Thurston that said pre-game that they've got this formula right now. It was the NRL All-Stars initially, then the World All-Stars, but to bring in a Maori All-Stars team for this annual clash, it it really sits well, doesn't it, with, um, with two magnificent cultures coming together and to be able to celebrate their contribution to the game is very important. Co-captain here, Adam Blair, kicking for goal. Is this Adam's last year in the NRL? Is this his first ever kick? Well, we'll soon see. <laughs> He played his last test for, for New wants, Zealand. He wants a different kicking team. Is he taking his boot off? The laces are undone on his kicking boot. He said that very low. Look, his laces are undone on his right boot. footy, good fun and a really competitive game. Well done to both teams, but on the field the Maori All-Stars have proven too good for the Indigenous All-Stars. 30 points to 16 here on the Gold Coast. Please join me welcoming on stage Professor Megan Davis, Australian Rugby League Commissioner. John Slacksmith from Harvey Norman, Christian Heffernan, Arthur Beetson's son, and Preston Campbell, the mastermind behind this concept here on the Gold Coast 10 years ago. It is my pleasure, firstly, to announce the 2020 Preston Campbell medal winner with two tries from the Mulry All Stars. Would you put your hands together for number nine, Brandon Smith? Congratulations, Brandon. We might get you to say a few words. Damn it. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Uh, thank you to the uh, Indigenous All-Star boys. You know, he's always come out and uh, put on such a good show, and it's so good to get to play against all the brothers, especially Josh here. It's always crack up watching him on the uh, end of the line blowing his bum out. So, yeah, it's, um, you know, it's such a good spectacle, and I thank all the supporters for coming out. Thanks to the coaching staff and the all the people that looked after my body throughout the week to keep us going. Massive thank you to all the boys. You guys are, you know, the heart and soul of the Kiwis and, and the Mouldies at the moment. And um, to Mouldy, baby! For someone who didn't want to speak, I think you did a pretty good job. And now, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to our runners-up. Last year, they took the chocolates. This year, they make it one all. Would you put your hands together for our runners-up, the Indigenous All-Stars? 
And please welcome to stage their captain to say a few words, Joel Thompson. Uh, first, I just want to thank the Māori team, eh? um, outstanding tonight. Uh, to my boys, uh, great week. Um, you know, a very good bunch of lads there, and uh, we had a great week in the community. We, we trained well, but just on the night, they got away on us. But uh, a big congratulations to the girls' team. Well done on your win. Uh, big thank you to the sponsors, uh, Kari, and also Harvey Normans uh, put on this, this show. And uh, Quaden and his family, we, uh, as a team, we just want to say a big thank you for coming down. It meant everything to us to run you out here tonight, and um, uh, well, well done. We hope you've picked up your spirits, eh? Hey? And coming out victorious today, would you put your hands together, concluding a great week celebrating culture, the winners of the 2020 Harvey Norman All-Stars match, the Marley All-Stars and their captain, Adam Blair. Uh, kia ora everyone. Uh, Tutuwa mai runga, tutuwa mai raro, tutuwa mai waho, tutuwa mai roto. Kia tūai, te mauri tū, te mauri ora ki te katoa. Hau me e hui e tākie. Uh, te mea tūtai, mā ki me ki te ato nei te rangi. Te papo e takto nei, te ena koroa. E ngā mate, ko whiti rangi tea. Haere, haere, haere. Hoki atu ki te tānga tūturu, ki tū o te arai, ki te huinga o te kairangi. Uh, ka hoki mai ngā mii ki te kanoe ora e hui hui nei ki te karango te rā. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Uh, ko pangaru te maunga, ko hoki anga te aua, ko ngā pui te iwi, ko ato mā hau. Uh, ka uri au ki te reo tūrua. Uh, first of all, uh, really honoured and privileged to be a part of this week in the last year as well. Uh, very humbled for Preston and the NRL to give us an opportunity to represent our country, represent our people all over New Zealand and everyone here on the Gold Coast. I know there's a lot of Māoris out here and a lot of Kiwis. Thank you people for coming out tonight. Um, I'm proud of, it, proud of my heritage. I'm just grateful for this opportunity to be standing here leading these boys. Thanks Preston, thanks the NRL, thanks you to the Indigenous boys. Tomo, cheers brother. To my brothers, uh, fantastic week boys. Um, every time we put on this jersey, every time we come into camp, we're always representing our people back home. Uh, we did our brothers and sisters all proud tonight. Um, I just want to say uh, thank you to our women's too. Uh, you know, the game's getting stronger and better for you guys. I love supporting you guys. Love seeing you out there doing the May as well. So thank you everyone for coming out tonight. Te barayas. And now Adam will receive the Arthur Beetson Trophy from Arthur's son, Christian. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2020 Harvey Norman All-Stars champion, the Marley All-Stars. Well, there you go. Absolutely incredible and inspiring words from everyone who got up on stage and spoke. Congratulations to the Maori and Indigenous teams on an incredible night of entertainment. It's not over yet, though. Coming up, we'll hear from Brandon Smith. And also, remember, we mic'd up Kaylin Ponga. All that and plenty more with Billy Slater and Jonathan Thurston right after this break. <laughs> 